It happened by the end of 2019 when COVID-19 hit us. The novel coronavirus later spread across the world at an exponential rate, crippling life and economy, turning into an unprecedented global crisis. It could not be contained. Kerala, a favorite heaven of tourists, was equally affected. Many tourists got stranded here. As all the travel options got cancelled, the tourists were unable to return to their home countries. During this difficult time, the Department of Tourism, Government of Kerala stepped in to ensure the safety of the tourists and facilitate their travel to home countries. At first, I had to leave the place where I was because people just started to freaking out about having foreigners around. And I found this um, tourist department from Kerala. Um, they exposed that they are trying to help tourists to find accommodation in those circumstances. And I contacted immediately. They just said, we have a place for you. And they sent me the address to go. Foreigners stranded in different parts of Kerala were brought to a common place and given safer accommodation. A help desk was set up in each center. The tourists were made to undergo medical tests before the repatriation process was started. The Department of Tourism collaborated with the foreign embassies to make all the travel arrangements. We are currently organizing a repatriation of Swiss citizens and residents and some EU nationals from India to Europe. And uh, in this whole project, I have to say the support and the collaboration with the government of Kerala and especially with the tourism department has been excellent. They have provided us with uh, great support to organize the repatriation. And again, I would like to thank very much the government of Kerala and especially the Department of Tourism uh, for this great collaboration. I think the organization is amazing. It's really well done um, because I guess wherever you go in the world at the moment, it's the same situation. Each place is hit by the COVID-19. Um, but I think they do a wonderful job and guarantee that everything is uh, according to the health procedures um, uh, that are recommended by the uh, WHO. Uh, thanks to the government of uh, Kerala and especially the tourist department, uh, because uh, we organize here the kind of assembly point for all the, the French national uh, uh, tourists uh, strand in Kerala because of the situation. Everyone uh, found uh, the process very adequate. All the travel documents were verified. Those tourists who tested positive for COVID-19 were provided medical treatment in Kerala itself. Ensuring recovery was paramount and the state ensured this. I was tested positive at Munar and all the decisions made by the hospital by Dr. Jacob Jacob and Dr. Fatahoon were discussed with me before anything was done and I don't believe I could have been treated any better in the UK. As I am a foreigner, I had to be tested for coronavirus and I was taken by the tourism department. They've done all of the arrangements, taken to the hospital where I had my tests done. And after that point, I've been hosted by KTDC um, for the past couple of days. The boarding process for these travelers started after the treatment and quarantine period was over. All the foreigners were brought to the airports. Necessary precautions were taken at the airports too. I'm very pleased to be here this afternoon as we begin the evacuation of nearly 200 British nationals from both from Kochi and Trivandrum on a British, special British Airways flight. Um, I'm delighted at the support we've had from the government of Kerala from the airport authorities and from the police in helping to facilitate the transfer of British nationals to the airports. I use this opportunity to thank uh, Department of Tourism, Government of Kerala for their support 
to organize this evacuation flight to Moscow. Today, uh, we could evacuate uh, almost 110 tourists from Russia. Actually, uh, Kerala is the best state in India. It's an amazing place, it's a paradise. I feel uh, safe here all the time. The homebound passengers underwent the mandatory medical checkup and other formalities before boarding the flight. The repatriation process sent about 2,500 stranded foreign tourists from Kerala to their home countries. Even though foreigners were stranded here, they were provided excellent health care, attention and accommodation. Despite the restrictions caused by the lockdown, they were met with exuberant hospitality. Together, we survived it.